be able to, one, solve multi-step word problems, close with whole numbers, and have whole numbers answers using appropriate operations. Good job. So what do we need to consider when we are solving multi-step word problem? What do we need to consider? Yes? Um, there is always more than one operation. Correct. Next. Yes. To remember the four operations. Remember the four operations. Yes. Look for Antonio. To solve the problem. Great. The last one. Imani. Understand what the problem is asking you to do. Great. Now I'm going to ask you, sweet. I'm going to ask you to write all the four pro all the four operations in your math board. Zion, give me one of the operations. Division. Division. Mikai. And. And addition. Antonio. Subtraction. Good job. And the last one. What would be the last one? Multiplication. Multiplication. Can you clap for yourself? Okay. What is the question asked us, Sweet? What is the question asked us? How? Can we read this? How many seeds are back in the flesh? Great. How many operations are we going to do right there? How many? Two. 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 Sorry. Good job. Wonderful. Now I'm going to ask you, run the two operations. We already know we're going to have two operations. Now I need you to show to me on your math board. What are the operations? I don't know if it's going to be division. I'm not sure if it's going to be multiplication. I have no clue. So I need you to write that right there for me. What are the operations that we are going to use? If you agree that we're going to multiply, raise up your hand. If you agree that we're going to multiply in this operation, oh wow, great, this is amazing. So we're going to multiply, all right? Now, we're having two operations. This is the first one of it. And we're going to the second one that is going to help us solve this problem, we're going to look at the second one to help us solve this problem. All right? So, who can give me the second operation that is going to help us solve the problem? Okay, well, Gene said, eh? And I want you to look at the problem, baby. Jaylee say, eh. First of all, we go to multiply. So who's going to, who's having another idea? Zion? Subtract. Subtract. Oh, Zion says subtract. This is Jaylee. Jaylee? It's okay. And Zion says subtract. All right. Now by looking at this, how many seats are not are not in the flat zone? Ooh. So when you look at this, look at this, baby. Look at me, sweet. When you see how many seats are not in this flat zone. At this time, I want you to make up your mind. With the second B, the and, or subtract. At this time, make up your mind. You call it say, how many seats are not? Not. Not. And What do you think now? Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. What? 
are not in this part. So what do you think? Subtraction. All right. Now, yes, the subtraction. Correct. So because this one is giving out the clue, are not. Therefore, at this time, how many operations we're having? Multiply and what? Subtract. Subtract. All right. Now, therefore, let's go. This is 18 C, this is 9 C. What am I going to do with 18 C and 9 rows? What am I doing with it? What am I going to do with those two numbers? Multiply. Correct, multiply. Okay. Now that's why I'm going to give you this. What do we call this? Lattice. Lattice work, lattice <coughs> method. All right, so you're going to use the lattice form to do multiplication 18 by 9. Yeah. Okay, clap for yourself. 